After hitting an important early three, Mono Area sophomore Jordan Carbonic cooled off. Her teammates and her coach were telling her to stay calm and keep shooting. Her senior captain, Megan Bisco. This is what I do. To make people feel better, I say like, Jordan, you missed that shot. I had like five turnovers already. So I mean, it's okay. We all are going to make mistakes. So that, it happens in basketball. You make mistakes. Early in the fourth quarter, the Lady Bears were trailing, and to make matters worse, Carmonic was injured while trying to take a charge. She was charged with a blocking foul and had to leave the game because of her injury. When she came back in, she did not take it easy. Carmonic battled and won key rebounds and made a huge jump shot that tied the game at 37 with around two minutes left. With under a minute to play, she hit two free throws to put Mono Area ahead 41-37. That ended up being the final score. Before receiving her medal, the Lady Bears trainer came over and gave Kermonic a bag of ice. I remember trying to take a charge and I'm getting need and I'm feeling a little sore. I'm not sure if I want to come back in, but I definitely wanted to be a part of it and give every, give it my all. So When was it like, okay, I'm going to go back in? Because you said it was a little in pain, so when were you like, all right, I'll go back out? Well, the trainer took me on. I started doing sprints and shuffling <laughs> a little bit. It was a little sore, but once I started moving, it started feeling a little better. It's not like you took it easy in there either. I had you on the floor over here getting a rebound. You knocked down a shot. I mean, were you feeling it or were you just like the, the adrenaline taking you there? Oh, I was definitely feeling it, but I feel like the whole atmosphere and everything, just the pain just kind of went away. For casual fans of local basketball, Carmonic's performance may really stick out in this championship game. But for the Mono Area faithful, her district championship performance was just par for the course for the sophomore. She hustles all over the place. You don't worry, she's always banged up because she's always all over the place. She's diving for everything all the time and comes up with the ball a lot. Minersville raced out to an early 5-0 lead in this game. Mono Area point guard Abby McGee scored 10 points in the first half and helped her team to a 21-17 lead at the break. Minersville's Maggie Wagoda hit this three to put the defending champs up 33-28 after three. The Lady Bears' Megan Babinski scored seven points in a back-and-forth fourth quarter, and Mono Area was able to hold on. I think halftime we really made a turn for the better. I think we realized we were giving up way too many rebounds, and we just picked it up aggressive. We just picked up our aggressiveness, and it pulled through. Was that all the change? Was just being more aggressive, or did you just switch up tactics at all? Or? I think we just played our game more, slowed our tempo a little bit, and got back to what we do. We really wanted it. We did not want to lose again to Minersville, and it was a huge win. It was a little bit, it was ugly. It was a little bit ugly, but I mean, we pulled it out, and it was huge. How do you win when it's ugly? I mean, what are you guys kind of talking about? You have that experience. I mean, what are you, what are you kind of saying in the huddle? Get get your heads up. Get your just fo get focused and everything. Um, we were, we're gonna, they're gonna go on runs. They're gonna get that. I mean, we went on runs. It's just a matter of who holds it at the end. The Lady Bears were dreaming big coming into this season, and now some of those dreams are coming true. I mean, our girls set goals for themselves. They, they've been talking since the end of last year, and and sometimes I tell them calm things down, but other times it's nice to hear that kind of talk. There's a ways to go to achieve their ultimate dream, but don't worry, head coach Tom Sheeler will keep reminding the Lady Bears to enjoy the view every now and then as they try to make their way to the top of AA basketball in the state of Pennsylvania.